All right. So what did you what do you got for us today while we're waiting to jump into the Facebook community? Yeah, I mean, just let's talk about LinkedIn. I mean, it's uh it, it, it's still there, it's still the platform to be focusing on. And and I was hoping to maybe let this uh one be more kind of guided by some of our clients slash people who are watching to see if they have, to see if they have any questions. But I mean, I I, I keep I keep wondering when this is not going to work and it continues to work better and better and better. So LinkedIn is still the platform to be on, in my opinion. Yeah, I agree, dude. I think it's it's definitely underused. And there were some things that they announced that I want to use. One of those I posted into one of our groups, um, was it Drunk on Social, where we posted about how LinkedIn is now adding other features that are making it more like what you're seeing on Instagram, you're seeing on Facebook, you're seeing there, which I thought was pretty impressive. It made me want to go into it and then just dive deeper into LinkedIn. I requested, by the way, if, if you're all listening in and you haven't requested to be able to turn on a LinkedIn Live, go ahead and do that. It's an option, but you have to go to the back end of LinkedIn and request it. I did request it a few days ago. I thought I had it on this whole time. <laughs> I, I did. I thought I did, but anyway, yeah, you know, they've they've been in beta for quite some time now. I'm surprised they haven't made this more of like a broad offering to all their LinkedIn users. But they are focusing more on like influencers, people who have who have a lot of engagement naturally. And I think the reason for that is because they'll notify your entire network um, when you go live. So it's it's a pretty powerful like announcement tool. And it's a great way. I mean, you have over like 10 or 15,000 connections on LinkedIn. So imagine you go live once and your your 50,000 people are going to know that you're live. So it's a pretty powerful tool. Dude, I, I love that. And then, you know, LinkedIn also recently released this great, uh, great study they did. I'm trying to pop it up because they broke down how we should be reaching out to, to the different types of possible uh, clients or consumers out inside of LinkedIn. And they did such a great job here. Let me share my screen. Yeah, because they broke it down really nicely. And then I'll also drop this into the chat box. And here we go. Let me know if you can see my screen. Uh, 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 uh. Do you see my screen? It's like a, a document. I'm going to scroll mm -hmm. through it like that. All right, perfect. So um, they, they created this, what is this, like 49 page document recently. And it has a lot of information on there in regards to engagement, in regards to how we should be reaching out to, to these people on LinkedIn and the different types of people. And there's one that really breaks it down, right? Page 17. And I'll, I'll, I'll you know what, I'll drop this into the chat box right now so I don't forget. And there we go. All right, they dropped it in so you guys can take a look to page 17. But look, these are the four categories and I have to just move that. The industry focused, right? It's a visionary challenge me, trends and perspectives, industry predictions. That's more like of what I do, right? And I was like, okay, good. I can totally, totally go on this one. Brand focus is when you're talking evangelists, inspire me, when people are looking to be inspired and motivated by your cultures, your values, things that you believe in, right? So you can move people. And I think we do part of that as well. Uh, and because I, I looked at this and I'm like, well, where do I fall in and, and how do people follow us, right? Mm -hmm. And then this one was definitely us, right? Product focused. And we, we, like we are right now with MyLink Solution talking to you, right? We're explaining what the product is and what it's about, how people should use it, right? In this case, all around this LinkedIn. And, and people focused. Uh, this, this we don't do as much, but it's something that we can definitely look into doing if this is you, right? Like for you, Casey, you running MyLink Solution, right? Mm -hmm. and you're kind of like a mentor in the sense of, uh, on the LinkedIn side, like telling people exactly how to lead in this world. So I love this right here and it's page 17 and I wanted to share it with everybody. Yeah, and that was that was really cool because I mean, I feel like to a large extent of our audience, 
the product focus is kind of going to be the one that that is most relevant to us, right, and them. And I think I think the key takeaway there is to not just be putting out your products and like talking about how great your service is, but to really provide value, genuine, authentic, real value, customized value if possible, um, which people will then be attracted to and want to engage with. So, I mean, A, you want to be able to have an audience that you think would care about learning about your services and your products and all this stuff. And then you want to be able to put out content that they would appreciate. So it's, yeah, it's, uh, there are a lot, a lot of subtle nuances to LinkedIn that if you understand them correctly, it could go a long way. I mean, a couple that I've been kind of playing with recently is, um, is you can say that you're hiring or that you're looking for a job. Yeah. And then there's also a way to create polls and then obviously events. So those are the three that I've been playing with recently. What I like about I'm hiring, right, mm -hmm. is, see, I'll, sh I'll share my screen. Yeah, go ahead. Is they give you a little, a little badge in your, on your profile. See this little, this little purple badge? Oh, I didn't know that. So <laughs> this happened literally today because we are hiring um, for our, our event space in Santa Barbara, the, the narrative law, we're hiring um, a venue coordinator. That's and so cool. now everyone on LinkedIn, my 17,000 connections know that I'm, knows that I'm hiring. And then these are the different jobs that I'm currently offering. So what this could do well, especially with people like you or people who are looking to like grow a team on LinkedIn, I think it'd be extremely beneficial to, for re recruiting. So if you are a team leader or, or a broker within an, an organization, you can put down, I'm hiring, and then you'll be getting a lot of inquiries coming in organically. And you can even put out like a job post or like, you know, what sort of qualifications you want in an agent or in a broker. And then you just get people kind of start um, engaging with your application and your, your, your profile. I like that, man. I like that. And one of the other things that I don't know if you, you knew, but LinkedIn is turning on something very similar to Clubhouse. Mm -hmm. They're developing audio rooms. So they, they want to jump on the whole bandwagon. I know Facebook's doing the same thing with the, the, the whole rooms as well. So that's going to be interesting to see as well, because that's another way we're going to be able to connect with our audiences, right? Or just jump into more generalized groups. 100%. Yeah, no, it was, um, I think it was Jesse from, from Call Action. He uh, wrote something recently on Facebook that was talking about, it's not the quality of your leads, but it's the quality of your conversations, uh -huh. right? And, it's, and I think um, that kind of goes to show how important LinkedIn is and what they're trying to do. They're trying to give people a platform to have more genuine organic conversations, right? And so because you can see so much information about a particular person's career or, or experience, you can get right, you can get right into business and relate with them and have quality conversations almost immediately. Whereas on Facebook and Instagram, there's not really much space to describe who you are or what you do or what you're looking to do or hiring or not hiring. There's not much conversation topics to kind of dig into, but with LinkedIn, you could say you're hiring, you can say you're looking for a job, you can put down all of your education, all of your past experiences. People get to see your mutual connections. They get to see where you went to school and graduated from. There are so many things that you can connect with someone on that the quality of conversations on LinkedIn just end up being way stronger and way more progressed earlier on. So it's, 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 a, it's super powerful. Yeah, I think you're right. I'm going to share my screen again here just to show you where they're heading and it gives people an idea of what to expect. Here, um, you've got, all right, so I'm on LinkedIn. And again, I'll, I'll drop the link in here just so you guys can follow along. Let me put it in the chat. I know we had one question uh, here. There we go. All right, you can follow along there, follow along on my screen. But you can see here, they're, they're really changing up the way the profile works because Casey, I'm not going to lie to you, dude. This profile is kind of sucky in comparison to Instagram or Facebook, right? So they know that. And the thing that they're doing, this is extremely sexy to me. Hmm. Like the fact that that just opens up when you're live on mobile, 
that's that's a that's pretty massive it right is. now they're now they took a page out of what facebook business pages are doing and they're directly going into your personal profile and saying hey look it's right here right in front so you know when everybody's live right and i wonder if that's going to be only live videos or if it will be you can upload like like a bomb bomb video or something like that you know what i mean yeah i don't know but it, it's a uh, it, it looks like it's only going to be live right Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure as they grow, I mean, look, it's called LinkedIn Live Broadcaster. So I'm sh pretty sure as they grow, they're going to give you that feature. And look, this is where you can submit an application. So I'm going to drop this right here. This is what I did. I went in and I said, hey, I, I wanted to um, turn in my live video, turn it on. They still haven't responded. How long did they say does it take here? Because I'm antsy. How, when did I text you, Casey? It was like a few days ago. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like been a little while. I mean, it's been at least a week, I think, right? And 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 I actually went into your account to verify to see if you have had it, and you still don't have it. Yet. At least they haven't replied to it yet. Yeah, damn it. You see now. Uh, well, anyway, I put the link in there, so just in case you do need it. So now we know that LinkedIn is used primarily by people that that are just more affluent. They they have money, right? They have jobs typically, right? And I don't see it straying from that. So how how do you suggest we use it for business? Yeah, so, I mean, so, I mean, it's it's a platform to find your people, right? It's a way of, of farming without necessarily needing to farm a geography. So there's a lot of different ways you can use LinkedIn to grow your business. I mean, just a couple examples, right? So um, me and my brother, before we, when we started, actually before we started my link solution, we were doing home buying presentations at local companies, right? And so, and so we would give a presentation. So at Procore, which is like one of the large companies here in Santa Barbara. And afterwards I messaged all the people who A attended and then also who just worked at Procore and I want to say, hey, I just presented at your company. You know, here's kind of the key takeaways. Here's our presentation. It's recorded. And then I said, oh, and also we give a credit back at closing for all Procore employees if you use us to help you buy or sell a home. And it was amazing at how quickly people were responsive to that message and how many leads slash relationships I created from just that one home buying presentation communicating via LinkedIn. So that kind of was a light bulb in our heads, like, wow, this is a really powerful tool to communicate and relate with like local professionals. So we went, so we then used LinkedIn and we found all of the HR directors, people who work in HR around Santa Barbara County. And we then messaged them on LinkedIn saying, hey, we do home buying presentations, you know, complimentary home buying presentations. We bring in lunch. We then yeah. give all of your employees like credit source closing costs. And it's a way for you to like, increase your employee retention. Let us come in and speak to your to your people. And we got like three or four, like almost immediately home buying presentations that were scheduled. And it's just like, it's, it's as long as you can figure out what kind of audience you're looking to connect with and a reason why LinkedIn is the platform to do it. So like you can grow your business in whatever capacity you want. So, I mean, a lot of our clients who use our system, they are reaching out to alumni. So I live in Santa Barbara. I went to UCSB for undergrad and there's 25,000 people. I mean, how great of a, of a way to relate with someone than saying, hey, we went to the same university and we both lived in Santa Barbara. Like, let's connect and chat. Let's, let, let, let's network. You can then like filter based on people who went to the same university and who are the CEOs of large companies or who have more than 10 years of experience. Or you can then filter even further based on other kind of affluent factors. But again, it's, it's, it's a platform to be able to kind of bridge the gap of like the unfamiliar to the familiar. All right, dude, that, that makes sense. And I think people, people always wonder like, where, where does that LinkedIn in comparison to all these other companies, where, where are the monthly visitors? Like, what do they look like? And I actually took the time to find it for everybody. Let me know if you can see my screen. Yep. All right, good. So I've got one through 10 here on this page. Google's number one. Pornhub is number 10. All right. <laughs> so here we go. 
then you have more here going through. You've got uh, Amazon right here, number 13. 17 is Netflix. I thought that was cool, right? And then we got 25 in LinkedIn, which is pretty high up there, man. Mm -hmm. 1.2 billion monthly visitors. That's extremely, extremely high up there. And so knowing that and knowing that these people, mostly all of them are professionals, that heightens the importance of it on my book. And I think that's important to note too, because we don't often look at LinkedIn in that way. Yeah, and, and I'll take that even one step further is LinkedIn gives you additional demographics. So I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share my screen now. <laughs> And say, so, yeah, there are 1.2 waves of 1.2 billion, right? Yep. If you wanted to, so, so of those people, these are the ones that are the most active. So, so there's people who live in Santa Barbara, who went to UCSB, mm -hmm. who um, are the CEOs, founders, owners, directors, more than 10, 10 years of experience. You can then take it one step further and say, which of those people, the subset, are people who have posted on LinkedIn in the past 30 days. Ooh, I like that. This is another big one because, I mean, if you can determine not only that they're affluent people that you wanna be networking with, but they're also actively on LinkedIn, engaging with people, posting content, that means that they're a lot more likely to then post and engage with you as well. Mm -hmm. So this is one of our, our next, um, or this is one of our current kind of, uh, uh, I guess, strategies with our current clients is that we're finding not only people who are on LinkedIn, who are in your area, but we're also finding the most active ones who are most likely to respond to you. So, you know, we, we, we customize the right scripts, we find the right audiences, and we start conversations for you. I like that. Well, can you dive deeper into that? Because a lot of people, um, hold on, Tracy's got a question here really quick. Hi, how do you turn on the follow button on LinkedIn? Do you know how to do that? Um, I think by default, everyone who connects with you follows you. And so I'm not sure if there's a way to do it just by yourself, but, um, yeah, so I'm not exactly sure, but I have 17,499 followers, but I have fewer than that connections. I'm sorry, more than that connections. So honestly, I'm not quite sure, but I think as long as they're connected to you, they mm -hmm. also follow you. Yeah, that's what I thought because they're choosing to connect with you. Let me, let me, let me kind of dive into that. I'm kind of curious now. So, yeah, if I got your, so we're connected, right, Tristan? And, and, and I'm on your profile. Let me find you here. I think I can unfollow you, but stay connected. Do it. Yeah, so you okay. can unfollow, Okay. you can stay connected. So anyways, I think, but I think once you connect with someone, you automatically follow them as well. So I'm sorry, and, and the, the, the question you asked me earlier, Tristan, was? Yeah, well, how, how do we benefit from having this information on the back end? Like if we go to the back end and we've identified that we want to target a certain demographic or certain people, like at, let's just say CEOs, what do we do then? Because I don't want to spend my whole day actually doing this hours and hours at a time. <laughs> That's where you talk to us, right? So. Um... So what we can do, in fact, what MyLink Solution does, we are a system. It syncs with your LinkedIn profile. We can then target the, your right audience and we'll put them into customized and automated follow-up um, or customized scripts that will not only connect you with new affluent people in your area, mm -hmm. but then also follow up with additional content, additional messages, which then starts a conversation and or drives them to a website or to a calendar that you want them to engage with. So yeah, because it would take a while to, to go through and engage with 1500 people on a manual basis, right? And so what we do is we, we kind of, we, we do it automatically through our, you know, our system of VAs and things like that, that we will do it for you. We'll start the conversations. So literally all you have to do is log into LinkedIn once a day and reply to people from within LinkedIn's messenger inbox. Oh, easy. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty straightforward because, and there's a lot of benefit to building up an audience on LinkedIn. So, I mean, in addition to the fact that you will get more engagement from all your posts, 
you also are able to then reach out to them as much as you want in, via messaging on LinkedIn. And you can even get their information to contact them outside of LinkedIn. So for example, I'm a connection with Tristan and if I click on contact information, there's his email. <laughs> I, won't, I won't go through his phone number, but your information is on LinkedIn. So um, there's a lot of added benefit to having a large connection on LinkedIn. All right now, how would you use LinkedIn to, to help you be able to grow these connections? How can we do that? How would we use LinkedIn to help grow connections? Yeah, because a lot of the times, dude, I, I'm, I'm on LinkedIn, but it's just like, I'm just, maybe I post one thing or two and maybe I talk to one or two people, but how can we be more intentful in growing the connections? Like what can we do or how can you help us do that? So yes, I mean, so we, what we would do is we would find that subset of people. So, you know, 1500 people on LinkedIn, we would put them into our system that would send out invite connection requests on a daily basis. And then people then come, they then connect with you or they don't, but then your network just starts growing automatically. So you can either do it manually where you can connect, 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 or you can use our system where we would find people for you put them into our system and do it automatically for you. I love that. All right. And then what's the cost of this, man? So we are, so our services are 270 a month. And then we also require our clients to have a LinkedIn sales navigator, which looks like Karen recently asked about it. Um, sales navigator is this icon up here in the top, right? If you don't already have it, it'll say, you know, free upgrade to premium or something along those lines. But it's, um, it's the LinkedIn product that allows you to really hone in on those search filters that I was describing earlier. So, um, and, and that's about $80 a month. Nice. All right, cool. So can you tell me some of the success stories that some of the clients you have have had? Yeah, no, totally. I mean, so, I mean, from Lindsay Nekorchak, who's a, a club wealth coach, I think she closed over 5 million in sales in the course of her first six months of using our system. And that was just from these messaging that we sent out on her, on her behalf. She would engage really well. So she'd be on LinkedIn probably 20 to 30 minutes a day responding to people and setting appointments. But if you actually engage with folks on LinkedIn, it'll really go a long ways to actually build your business. Um, we had a webinar for our, our own purposes about a month and a half ago with a client who said that 40% of his business um, in 2020 came from LinkedIn. So it's, um, it's again, it, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, it's only as good as far as you use it, it's kind of like your, your CRM and stuff, but it is, it's, it's true. Like if you use our system and you engage with LinkedIn and you engage with it at a very high level, you can use the system to, um, to level up your, your business fairly quickly. I mean, and what's nice too is that this, this is like a long-term play too. We just, we just closed a $2 million deal from a prospect that we had developed through LinkedIn about two years ago, right? So wow. we, we connected with this person who moved to Santa Barbara um, about two years ago saying that she moved here to work at Amazon and she wasn't quite ready to buy a home yet. And her budget was, you know, about, you know, about a million dollars. Then, you know, she wasn't quite ready then. So we kind of put it into our nurture campaign. We send her emails and newsletters and things like that. And then about six to seven months ago, she reached back out saying, hey, you know, we're, we're, we're back in the market. You know, my, my boyfriend and I, our budget's quite a bit bigger now. We can go up to $2 million. So I started showing her properties. Our communication was entirely on LinkedIn. And then, and then from there, we closed the house on a $2 million property. It was, it was nice. Wow. So it's not just like a short-term play, but it, it's, it's a long-term, a long-term play as well. I love that. You know, I think what we should do the next round is interview some of these people that have had successes with it. Um, because that would, that would really change up the way people look at it too. Melvin says, what about the max connections of 3K? What does that mean? So the max connection is actually, I think, 30,000. So... You may, that may have been a, a typo, but you can have up to 30,000 connections. And once you hit that cap, they've been turned into followers. I think that's where like the follow button might, might, might come into play mm -hmm. is once you hit that max, then, then you can follow a person 
And then, but yeah, so that's that's the max amount of time, which is when you compare that to Facebook, I think what Facebook is 5,000. Yep. So with LinkedIn, you can connect with a, with a lot more people. Oh, nice, dude. I like that. Yeah. All right. And one thing I wanted to like mention, Tristan, is like if, if people are interested in um, kind of learning more and then they want to learn more about LinkedIn and or just kind of get started and learn about more of how this can help their business model. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to put a link into our uh, to book an appointment with our, with our team. One of the things that we, we really enjoy doing is we really enjoy kind of digging into the business model of each individual you know, client and figuring out what the right solution would be for them. Right. Okay. So like. So for example, if you worked in, in healthcare, then maybe we can do like a, a local heroes program. We can reach out to, you know, law, law enforcement, we can reach out to um, hospital healthcare providers. If you are an alumni of like USC or like, a, you know, a big, you know, old uh, college, then that could be a way to reach out to alumni. So there's a lot of ways that you can kind of engage with people. And, and the more we learn about your business model, the better we can tailor it for you. I like that, dude. There's a question about Sales Navigator because I know we need Sales Navigator to run this program with MyLink Solutions. So uh, Alex says he use he says when utilizing your various SEO channels, what can you use to reconcile all the messages into one messaging center? What can you reconcile all the messages into one message? When you use various SEO channels, what can you use to reconcile all the messages into one message center? Alex, can you rephrase that one while we go to um, while we go to Karen's question? Karen's saying, where is the sales navigator on LinkedIn? Can you show that, Casey? Yeah, so it's this little icon on the top right corner. Um, Hold on, we're not seeing your screen here. Oh, let me share that up. No problem, buddy. In the top right corner, said, so mine says sales, can you see my screen now? Yep, gotcha. Mine says sales navigator, but if you don't already have it, it'll say free upgrade to premium or try premium free for a month or something along those lines. Um, and then you want to go to explore all plans and then sales solutions. You want to do the one that says sales. Um, and that's how you get it. It's, you know, I think they give you a free month. And so if you want to just test it out for a little bit, you're welcome to, but, and let me answer, um, who is the other person to talk about the, the messaging center? Yep. Alex. So there's a couple of ways of doing this, right? So if you're getting a lot of messages on LinkedIn, which is what can happen if you're using our system, you're getting a lot of messages incoming from LinkedIn and the messaging center here is outbound messages, buried beneath inbound messages, buried beneath um, connections, et cetera. There's a really simple way of just filtering by unread messages. And now these are just people who have responded to you, but yeah, you haven't replied to yet. Got it. I have, I have quite a few. And so then what's kind of nice about this too, is if one of these is like a good, a good lead, so let's say this guy Orland is a good lead, you can then archive them as a good lead. Then you can filter for archive messages. And now these are all the people who are good leads. So Gary is one of our clients, Simon is one of our clients. Um, you know, these are some of our leads we've saved in LinkedIn. So now I know to go back and check my archive messages once a month and reply to those folks and re-engage with them and kind of see where they are in there in the process. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Option two would be to bring them from LinkedIn into your preferred CRM, right? So our system has a um, integration with Zapier. And so we can zap every new connection or every new message automatically into your CRM, so follow up boss, chime, whatever you use. And then you can start engaging and, and, and kind of managing those conversations and those notes through your preferred CRM. All right, dude, I like that. I'm looking, I was looking at the back end here. It's pretty sweet. Now, when people respond back, do we, um, would you suggest that we respond through here or through your system specifically? Because I know there's an area where we can respond back through my link solution. So we recommend through LinkedIn. Um, yeah, so, so we actually don't uh, have a backend for our clients to respond through our system. Okay. So we, but we have best practice videos on how to leverage LinkedIn's platform. And to be honest, it's probably better than what we can offer. So. LinkedIn's done quite a bit of uh, work to make their messaging app the messaging application a lot more efficient. 
Um, you know, you can set away messages. So if you're on vacation, you can be sending out, you know, messages to your prospects, but then also if they reply and you're on vacation, you say, Hey, I'm, I'm on vacation. Um, uh, would, would love for you to reach out to me maybe next week or schedule a call with me next week or, or whatever you want to say. Perfect. Perfect. I'm, I'm checking my LinkedIn right now. Cause I'm like, Oh damn, I'm behind. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know I hadn't responded to like five messages here. That's so funny, dude. You know, one thing also um, I want to mention is link, LinkedIn events. Tristan, if, if people aren't leveraging LinkedIn events, I would highly recommend it. It is probably one of the best features that I've uncovered or discovered recently with LinkedIn. In can a while. you tell me about it, that, please, on your screen? Yeah, totally. So can, you can still see my screen, correct? Yes. So LinkedIn events, I mean, you can do Facebook events, right? You can do a lot of types of events. The reason why LinkedIn events are particularly good and, and effective is that A, you can invite a very large audience all at once to your event. In fact, you can invite up to a thousand people per week to your event. And then B, you can set it for them to register so if you have like, so for example, we did um, a event in Ventura, Santa Barbara County real estate market update uh, about a month or so ago. And we made it a, a public event, but we required people to register with their first name, last name, and email. So when they get the invitation to join the event, if they say yes, it'll auto-populate their information, then they'll confirm that. And now you can download that list of attendees and you can then you know, send them a Zoom link or whatever you wanted to do to then get them to engage with that event. And, and so what's cool about this too is that you get a really high response rate and a really high engagement rate on the invitation. In fact, about 10% 10 to 20% of people click yes to attend on a LinkedIn event, which is huge. In fact, many of the people on, on, this, on this event, on this webinar today, came from the LinkedIn event that we created on your account, Tristan. They said yes to it. And then we put them into a, a Zoom to like to then get the Zoom reminders. And now we have more engagement on, the, on this webinar as a result. But you can apply this to anything you want. If you're doing like a home buying presentation, a market analysis, um, a listing presentation, or whatever you wanted to do, you create the event on LinkedIn. And then you, and then you go from there. Casey, is it better than using something like Eventbrite or no? I would say you want to do it in conjunction with Eventbrite. Okay. Because with Eventbrite, and I don't know that software as well, but can you do mass invites um, to to connections, or how, how do you get the word out? Uh, usually by email, you send it out, and if they subscribe to the text, then you can do it there too. But I would do both, right? Yeah. I mean, it's again, it's it's. I mean, we do, we send out invites from Zoom as well as through LinkedIn. You know, then we also send out invites via email too. So we can, we can include a link to the LinkedIn invite to an email list and say, hey, we'd love for you to join our webinar. Here, here's a link, register for here. So, okay. I mean, it's just one more channel of promoting something that you want people to attend to. And is this part of the free service or is this part of Sales Navigator? This is, this is free. So um, LinkedIn offers this for free and anyone can do it. And it's, it's powerful. I mean, also what's kind of nice is you, you can chat with people. Um, in fact, let's take a look. Cause I think there might be some chats in this event. So if you look here, this yeah. is the event for, for today, LinkedIn and real estate strategy, Tristan and Casey. Yeah, yeah. We have over 540 people registered to attend this event. That's cool. And now you can create a chat group with these folks as well to say, hey, what do you guys think about the event? You can have them ask questions. You can then pull the audience. If you wanted to create a poll and say, how many of you have Sales Navigator? Or you know, how many of you, if this is like a home buying presentation, are you looking to buy a home in the next three months, next six months, next 12 months, or two years? Right? You can kind of create polls. Got it. There's a lot of functionality from within, within a LinkedIn event. I like that, dude. Well, I'm, I'm thinking if once they turn on my live, my LinkedIn live, that if we go through something like restream, because we can restream for LinkedIn and YouTube and Facebook all at the same time, 
I'm wondering if we can play it into the event directly through LinkedIn. Uh, I don't know if we can, but it's something that we're going to try as soon as it turns on. Uh, Joshua Murphy has a question for you. Hey, Casey, is Brianna O'Toole your wife? I am connected to her on LinkedIn. <laughs> yes, she is. And oh, so, yeah. There you go. And so I would have to imagine that we're using her account to kind of help promote our, our product. And, and so, it's, yeah, we and Josh, you're, you're probably going to be getting an email from me as well soon because <laughs> we've set up a few systems. I love that, man. Uh, well, do anything else you wanted to touch on before we end this or, or are you um, good? I mean, if there's any questions, feel free to um, ask them. Uh, maybe just check out our website, mylinksolution.com. You can schedule a demo, um, book an appointment. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of the fun part of, of what we do is, is again, like when you schedule a call with us, we dig into what would work best for you. So that's probably the best way for folks to kind of get to know who we are and what we can offer them. So, I mean, play around with, with, with sales navigator, play around with, with, uh, with polling, play around with that whole, you know, looking to hire or looking for a job whatever it may be, but like just play around and engage with LinkedIn. And the way that LinkedIn's algorithms work is the more you engage with all their assets, the better SEO, the better, the more engagement you'll be getting. So the more you're on, on their platform and the more you're just working with them, um, it'll, it'll pay off in spades. So even if you don't use, use our, our services, um, just start working with, with LinkedIn and it'll help grow your business. I like that. And then I put up some links in here, the, the two, what was it? The LinkedIn answers that we had and that awesome, awesome business link that we had for LinkedIn. I'm going to put them, Casey, I'm going to send those over to you so you can send them to everybody that registers because I know everybody didn't make it, right? And I'm also going to copy paste that PDF just in case anybody needs that awesome, what was that? 49 page PDF, right? Yeah, it'll be, it'll be everyone's homework. And yeah, everybody's homework to have 49 pages. And then <laughs> and then you could add my link solution link there somewhere. I just sent that over to you too by email. So this way you can send it out to everybody that registered. Great. Yeah. And then I'll send out um, um, a, a recording of this as well. So people can, can reference um, what we said too. Perfect. And then somebody asked for your link again. I'm going to drop it in there. Uh, it's mylinkedsolution.com. Alex, there it is, buddy. I've been using them for, wait, how long have we been friends, Casey? Because that's when we met and to do this. I think three, well, so we've been friends for three years, three or four years at least. And yeah. you've been using for over two years, I think. Nice, there you go. It was at Starbucks, I remember that. Oh yeah. I think, but, I mean, you were, you were our first uh, beta user of, of Lead Faucet from back in the day. Mm. <laughs> Which was an amazing product, by the way. We're, we're, by the way, we're, we're considering integrating the technology of Fleet Faucet into MyLink Solution as well. So um, for clients and for other clients as well. So just be prepared. That could be maybe one of our next, our next uh, webinars. That'd be cool, dude. And let's bring in some people that are using MyLink Solution at a high level. You want to do that? Definitely. We like two. Let's do that. All right. Excellent. All right, Sarah. everybody. Thank you for visiting us, spending your time midday afternoon with us. Go to mylinksolution.com. Casey's going to email you all the links that we shared here and also the My Link Solution link as well. Thanks, Casey. Thanks, Tristan. I'll see you guys, man. Thanks, everybody.